What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we all know it's Black History Month. We're having that conversation. So we got Kristen Crosby with us today. Kristen, how you feeling? Hey, man, you know what? I'm feeling great, bro. There's Beautiful. a lot going on. Um, you know, I'm very busy. I'm getting highlighted by you guys, which is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I woke up this morning. I was breathing. I, I could walk. I could yep. hear. I could feel. I yep. could see. Life is good, man. I'm blessed. You open your eyes, so that's always a blessing. You feel me? A hundred percent. Cool. So, yeah, let's jump into it. So, you know, we were doing all these interviews this week, just talking about February, Black History Month. What does it mean to you? Black History Month means to me, I think it's a time to reflect, to be honest with you, because to celebrate our people, that should be happening every single day. Yeah. Um, our people move and shake this entire world. We are, we are... Uh, the foundation of, of so many different cultures, uh, so many different foods and inventions uh, and traditions. And um, from, bi from businesses to um, societal structures to, to all things. So I think me personally, I feel like that should always be celebrated. And I don't think we need to cram it into the month of February. So whenever we hit Black History Month, what really comes to mind for me is, is it's a time to reflect. Um, because it, it, it is a time to really think back to all of the people who built these different bricks that allowed this beautiful place for us to live as Black mm -hmm. African Americans. And um, sometimes you forget, because there is still so much struggle, it's easy to forget how much more struggle there was before. Right. Um, and so because we still face these things now, and I don't want to act like we're not, but I think it's hard. It's sometimes because we're facing these things now, we forget. Whoa, 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 whoa! There are okay. hundreds of thousands of people who dedicated their lives just to make our lives this much better. Right. Um, and so, when I think of Black History Month, I think of honoring those specific people. Um, but I also, it also, what it does for me is it makes me want to go further than that because a lot of the Black history that we're taught. It, it, it only starts from a certain period of time and there's way more history than that for, for us black people. So um, whenever this month comes around, it's like a reminder to me, like it's a reflection and then it's a reminder like, yo bro, tap into your history more, do some more yeah. research, learn more about your, your history. Um, and that's what this month is for me, which is obviously really special. Absolutely, even though we still have ways to go, we made a whole lot of progress since like back then, let's say 50, even like 50 years ago, you know? hundred percent, yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Who has been your biggest motivator as you go through this thing called life and like your career and things like that? Um, my biggest motivator, I would have to give you an honest answer. It's my family as a whole. Yeah. Um, growing up, I was blessed and lucky enough to have two parents who loved each other, um, who taught me love and who taught me purpose. They yeah. instilled in me since I was a kid, like, don't do anything that lacks purpose. Yeah. And you know, they also empowered me. They told me like, whatever you want to do, we support you. And so I never, there was never a time in my life where my mind was like, you can't do this. Yeah. And I didn't realize how powerful that was until I got older. Mm -hmm. You know, you start meeting people and you're like, yo, people are really like, they are not supported. People are not, either people don't even have parents to support them or right. they have parents who don't support them or there's just fears instilled in them from their parents or from their guardians out of love like you know somebody will love you and be like well I don't want to tell this person to be a rapper because he might not make it so I'm gonna show them love by telling them not to do it right. but by telling them not to do it you're instilling fear into this person telling them they it's can't like do their it. doubts on you right and so you know I didn't realize but I I dodged that bullet and I didn't realize how rare and how powerful that was until I got older they have been my inspiration forever I've always just wanted to um I've always wanted to just show my parents um, how awesome they were through what I could accomplish, if that makes any sense, yep, because yep. I'm just so grateful for them. I always wanted to just be like, yo, I listen to y'all. Y'all see this? Yeah. Um, and so family has always been my, my motivator, man. And I love my family to, 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 to the grave, man. They're, they are some amazing people. My mom, uh, my father, and my brother, and my sister. Um, they have all just kept me going when yeah. I didn't want to go anymore. I just, when I think about that, I'm like, yeah, I got to keep going. So. Absolutely. No, I feel you for sure. Yeah. So who, who you say is your hero right now? Like, I know you just 
spoke amazingly about your parents, but who is your hero? Or like one in like, you know, especially coming up, one of your, your idols or someone you aspire to be? Uh, man, I, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I got a couple, obviously I'll just start with my mother and my father. Um, clearly, like I told you, that's, that's really my, my core, my anchor, uh, yeah. motivate me. They, they, they have always been people who, um, help others before they help themselves. They yeah. care so much about people. They love people. Um, they would do inner, inner city, um, charity work where they would do counseling for for inner city couples um, and and outer city couples they would do um uh situations where they would set up food for the homeless um they would do uh theater programs for kids in inner cities um they just they they always did a lot so growing up i always admired that always i kind of got my like philanthropic uh energy just from Mm -hmm. my parents just watching them grow up um, I've had a couple of other mentors throughout my life. Um, uh, there's a gentleman, he's not famous, <laughs> but his, his, his name, I want to give him a nice shout out. His name is Leon Rollerson. He owns a company called All Around Entertainment. They MC, DJ, cater, um, all events from mitzvahs, the weddings to yeah. you name it, they do it. They have the lighting, the decor, yada, yada, right. yada. In my earlier years, um, he really took me in and... He taught me a lot about business. He taught me a lot about professionalism and how to conduct myself in different professional settings. And we became friends as I got older. We, he shifted into mentor, into like really close friend. And we're able to chat about some deep things and we're able to hold each other accountable. And I think everybody needs a person like that in their life. So, you know, I know sometimes you get asked a question like, who's your hero, who you look up to? And most people would, you know, I love Will Smith, for example, or or this athlete or this person or Martin Luther King Jr. But um, my community, like my little village, uh, there's people in there that just have really changed my life. And I think those people deserve to be um, honored. So one of the people on name, there's plenty, but one of the people on name, Leon, shout out to Leon, man. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Leon. <laughs> So as a founder of a power brand, what does it mean to you to see more like my minority owned businesses just kind of being supported again, showing love and being in stores more? I thought it was going to be a fad. I'm going to be honest with you. When 2020 went down, um, there were a lot of people who jumped on board to support a lot of issues that have been here for a long time. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if it was going to just come and go and be a trend. I think mo- for the most part, we have seen that this has consistently uh been been uh supported uh the the black african-american community um has been supported in the areas of small business more Mm -hmm. than they ever have within the last two years which is absolutely phenomenal as a young entrepreneur it is hard Mm -hmm. um there's inflation right now things cost more money people are spending less money um and it's just hard within itself to have your own business um let alone deal with the the place we're in as a society, as a country. So um, to see that these bigger corporations and these bigger organizations are stepping up and saying, you know what, we're gonna invest into our black communities. We're yeah. gonna help this company. We're gonna help that company. We're gonna highlight this person's story. We're gonna tell that person's story. It's beautiful, yo. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. It means so much to me um, t- to see this continue after so much time has passed. Um, and I think we just gotta double down on that, yeah. yo. And um, it starts with us, the, the people. It starts with us as, as a Black African-Americans. It starts with us. We have to keep the conversation going. Yeah. We have to keep this going. Um, and it start, if we're not doing it, why would we ever expect anybody else to do it? Mm-hmm. Um, and I do see a lot of leaders, um, local and major uh, national leaders and international leaders stepping up to keep this moving. And so, you know, to see finish line and and, you know, these, di- these different big organizations step up is beautiful, bro. I love it. Absolutely. And last question for you. So what's uh, up next for you? Like, what are your future plans, especially, you know, going into 2022? I know you're in Cleveland right now doing your thing, working with the yeah. league. So what's next? So you know what, man? I'm getting on TV, baby. I'm yeah. doing more television. I'm yeah. doing more film. I'm, I want to take this company, Live Life Nice, to the moon uh, yeah. and take it national. And um, my music is has been really great. You know what what I what I'm enjoying right now is just kind of building my own name as a business within itself. 
so that I can really insert and apply myself really into anything. Um, and it, it's really started to grow over the last couple of years. And it's been, a, it's been a, a joy to just, even the grind, even the tough days when I'm just like, yo, this is out of control. Like it's, it's actually enjoyable. Cause I'm like, yo, I got stuff to be stressed about. Like this is great. <laughs> so what's next Good for me is ahead. like, yo, man, I, um, you know, what do I say? I always, um, uh, I forget. I, I always made up a name where I mixed all, all these names together, but man, I'm trying to be in this. I'm trying to be in movies. I want y'all to see me in film. I want y'all to see me on Netflix series. I, I want my own TV show. Um, I want my apparel brand to grow. I want my music to pop off. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere, baby. Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to build the business. Yeah, everywhere. I'm, yeah man. I, I'm, and I'm enjoying it. And so far it, it, it is going well. And it, I'm getting a lot of signs that are telling me, Keep going. So I'm going. I'm gonna keep going, baby. Yes, gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But that's the last question for you. I know you got a busy all-star getting right over to the practice, seeing everybody practice at dunks, shooting, wherever the case may be out there in Cleveland. So best of luck to you. Again, thank you so much for tuning in with us and sharing your thoughts on BHM and just your overall look on life. And thank you, Christian. Yeah, not a problem, man. I just want to one one say thank you yeah. to you um for doing this with me and highlighting me um and second anybody who's watching this um who aspires to just create i just want to encourage you right now um there's always going to be a reason not to do it and Mm -hmm. there's always going to be an obstacle that can discourage you from doing it i want to encourage whoever you are if you're listening right now maybe this is this is a sign for you but (laughs) keep going do what makes you happy and learn from your mistakes, avoid making them twice yeah. and put your all into what you really want for yourself and for your life, because you can do it, you can achieve it and you are capable. And especially to my people, we have to come together, we have to, to, to unite and we have to support each other. Yeah. Stop hating on each other. <laughs> Stop looking at the next man and saying, why not me? Support right. that man, support that woman, invest into them. Trust me, it actually is a selfish thing to invest into people because guess what? That investment actually comes back to you as well. Yeah. And you actually benefit from it. So I just want to inspire my people, yo. Let's let's win. Let's love each other yeah. and let's grow yeah. together and let's win. Let's unite. Um, because special things happen when we do that. And clearly, as you can see, the shift from 2020 to now has been great. And that's not even all of us together. That's just some of us together. So imagine if all of us were together, right. what would that look like? You know what I'm saying? So um, just want to encourage my people and anyone young aspiring to, to get things rolling. You got it, yo. Absolutely. Everybody, Christian Crosby. Thank you. Yo, love you, bro. Appreciate it. So, All right, man.